everyone. So this is a very special flight today. I'm here with my student Ron from Taiwan. Hello. He's single by the way. <laughs> but on this flight, I will be reaching 1500 hours, which is a huge milestone. And I want to bring all of you guys with me. You guys ready? Ready. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it just ticked over and I got 1,500 hours. Woo! Roger, <laughs> finally! Finally. All right, so now we're on air-to-air -air frequency. Everyone's somewhat friendly there, so I'll announce it. San Diego East, I just reached 1,500 hours! Congrats. Congrats! Woo! Fly on your way to Sky West. Thank you, everyone. They're so nice. San Diego, everybody. On November 11th, I've reached my 1,500 hours. 1,500 hours have been flown. So that is super exciting for any aviator out there. This is a huge milestone, and I want to come on here and say thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers and viewers out there for always encouraging me and supporting me. For me to reach 1500 hours, it's not my hard work alone, but it is a group effort. So I want to thank my parents for always believing me and supporting me. They're a huge reason why I am a pilot today. Thank you to all my instructors that taught me how to fly and had to deal with me. The flight schools that taught me and the flight school that hired me and all my students. I want to give a big thank you to my students because without you guys, I would not have been able to reach 1500 hours. Last but not least, for all my viewers, like I said, you guys are always encouraging me and supporting me through every stage. So thank you guys. To recap, I finished my flight training with around 300 hours and once I got my instructing job, it took me another 14 months to reach 1500 hours. Finally did it, 1500 hours, thank you guys. The past few days as I've reached this huge milestone, I've been doing a lot of reflecting and thinking how my journey was and there's some tips and advices I wanna share with you. So number one is don't give up. This is a long journey. It's definitely a marathon and not a sprint. Remember that guys. But whatever happens, don't give up. Doesn't matter whether you're watching this video right now and you're in your training for your private pilot license or instrument or you finish CFI and you're looking for a job and it's just so hard you can't find one or you're already instructing. Just don't give up guys. Just remember why you started to fly and why you chose to become a pilot. I remember for me when I finished my training, it just happened to be COVID, so I had to become a fueler for one year. After my training, I didn't fly for a year because there were just no jobs available, flight schools weren't hiring, so I became a fueler for airplanes for one whole year and I knew that would be a good place to meet people, meet pilots, get myself in the door of flight schools and because of that job, I was able to get a flight instructing job. But wherever you are in your aviation journey, don't give up. I've been through it, it's tough, it's challenging, exhausting, but if I can do it, any of you guys who are watching this video can do it as well. Number two is don't get complacent, especially as a flight instructor. You're flying three to four times every single day, five times a week at least, and sometimes you just get complacent, you get lazy, it starts becoming a routine, you you know trust your students fully, and you don't check the fuel anymore, you don't check the oil, you don't do your pre-flights, you don't do your walk around. Get out of that mindset, guys. I just wanna remind you what we do is dangerous. We fly airplanes, we're in the air, anything could happen anytime, and safety is key. So please, don't get complacent, do your pre-flight checks, check the fuel, check the oil, do everything, guys. So that's number two, don't get lazy, don't get complacent. Tip number three, is enjoy the process. Like I said, this is a marathon and it's not a sprint, so the journey is gonna be long. Don't burn yourself out. You will be working a lot, you will be tired, you'll be exhausted, but enjoy the process. Get rest and enjoy the process, guys. What we do is also a lot of fun. For me, as a flight instructor, I get paid to be up in the airplane, so I really enjoyed it. Don't rush it, guys. Enjoy the process and get rest. And that's in the probably tip number four, get rest. You would be such in a rush to get your hours that you're flying, flying, flying. Sometimes you forget to rest. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to rest. You don't wanna get burnt out. 
and stop flying. You don't want to get burnt out and become unsafe, which happens a lot, a lot more than you think. Sometimes it happens without you even knowing, but it's really important for you guys to get rest. So those are some of the tips I want to share with you guys, some things that I've been thinking about since I've reached my 1500 hours. But remember, get rest, enjoy the process, and never give up. What we do is so much fun. But thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. I'm going to be taking December off, and in January, I'm going to be in starting with the airlines, so I'm super excited for that, a new chapter in my aviation career, and you bet I'm going to bring all of you guys with me. So be sure to like and subscribe this video. Subscribe and like. If you have any comments or questions about how to reach 1,500 hours, let me leave a message down below, and I'd love to get back to you. But thank you guys, and this is a huge celebration, not just for me, but for all of us. Thank you for being part of this journey. I love you guys. Bye.